Welcome, welcome everybody. How are you guys doing today? So today is Thursday. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to break a circle to four pieces. And this is going to be or a project number six. And to do that, we're going to use a, uh, a rectangle, 60 by 40. And then the circle is going to be a 30 inch diameter, okay? And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys like to do anything else, just let me know in the comment. And please let uh, everybody know that if they want to learn some basic information about the math camp, please share the information, share the video. And without further ado, let's go to our math camp nine and build that now. Okay, from here, let's go to uh, our main menu. Click on main menu here and go ahead and click create. We're gonna click on rectangle. We're gonna use one point here. And then we're gonna use 60 by 40 and select okay. Okay, we're gonna put in the middle here and click escape. So to minimize this, go ahead and click F2 here. And to, to maximize all, Control F1 right here, okay? Okay, go ahead and minimize that, click F2. Now we're gonna make a circle here, gonna put in the middle, 30 inch diameter. Go ahead and select on create, and we're gonna select on arc here, and circle point diameter. I'm gonna put 30 inch here, and click enter. And we're gonna put in the middle, okay? Just like that. Now I'm going to make some line. Let's go ahead and click on create and line. And we're going to use endpoint here. We're going to do all four corners, okay? Let's select from this endpoint here to this midpoint on the circle. And then from the midpoint of the circle to the endpoint of the rectangle here, okay? We're going to do it all just like that, okay? This endpoint here to the midpoint, and from midpoint to the endpoint here. And from the endpoint here to the quadrant right here in the middle. Okay. And then to the endpoint. Okay. Just like that. Got one more to do right here, the endpoint here to the quadrant. And then from the quadrant to the endpoint. Okay. So like that, click escape. So this circle right here, 30 inch diameter, we're gonna break it to four pieces, okay? So to do that, just go ahead and go to main menu. And we're gonna modify. Then we're gonna click on break right here. And then we see right here, say in the bottom of the break circle, go ahead and click on that. And on the bottom, the number of arc to break, go ahead and four, select put on four and enter. We're gonna break one right here. Okay, one. Okay, two, three, and four, okay. So we're gonna select on many pieces right here. So we go ahead and break one and click undo it. And another one right here and just click undo it. And one more here and do it. And the last one here and do it, okay? Just like that. So now we're gonna go back to main menu and we're gonna run a pocket here, okay? And the thing is the reason why we don't wanna run the whole pocket, we wanna split it up. So that way you can see a triangle inside the middle here, okay? Now, we're gonna select one more uh, pocket right here, okay? We're gonna select a tool to cut that, okay? Let's go to our tool pad, click on pocket here, and select on chain. Okay, we're gonna select right here, okay? That's one right here, go ahead, click in here. Select another one here, in here. Select another one right here, in there, and another one right here, and in here. And select done. Okay, right here, our tool library, go ahead and right click, get the tool from our library. We're gonna use a one edge, okay? Let's go down to get one edge uh, flat end mill, okay? It's right here, 232, go ahead and click okay. The tool number right here say one, and tool name, one edge flat, 0.125. Feed rate, plunge rate, retracted rate, we go ahead and put 7.0. Okay, all the same, go ahead and put 7.0. Even the retracted rate, go ahead and put 7.0, okay. And then we'll come back to the right side, spin the speed, we're gonna 
put 4000 on there. Okay, and then the coolant, we go ahead and turn it on. And the section right here, we're gonna say rough pocket, okay. Just like that. That's how it looks right there. Then we're gonna go to a pocket parameter right here. And at the bottom first, we're gonna select open. Okay, and then we're gonna select a, a check mark right here, clearing. And top of the stock, we're gonna use 0.75. And then the depth, we're gonna put negative 0.4. Okay, and then tip and calm right here, we're gonna use center. And then sharp right here, we're gonna use none. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna go back to the top. Like a rough pocket, we're gonna use the true spiral. And then we're gonna run from inside out, okay? And then right here, cut a conversation, go ahead and use where, okay? And select okay. That's how it looks right there, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We break the circle to four pieces. Then we see the triangle in the middle right here. That's what we want. That's what our main key, okay? And now we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna go back to main menu. And we're gonna do this a little bit. We're gonna do a radius on here in this um, rectangle here, okay? Let's modify that. They're gonna go fill it and select on radius. And then we're gonna use about four inches, okay? Select four inches radius. Okay, first line here and second line right here. First line, second line. First line, second line. First line and second line right there, just like that, okay? Now, you're gonna go ahead and delete this line right here. Then we got the tool already, right? So, Let's go back to main menu and see the two pad. See, it's just like that right there. And we can delete this line, okay? Let's go ahead and delete that line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just like that. That's what we wanted. And go ahead and go to two pad. We're gonna cut it out, right? Let's go to contour here. And we're gonna select on change. And then we're gonna cut this out, just like that. And select done. And we're gonna use two, 239, which is the half inch flat in mill, okay? Like on that, scroll down, go to get the tool number 239 right here. And okay. And this section right here, it's gonna have to put finish pad. Just like that. And then the tool number two right here, say half inch flat. Speed rate, point rate, retracted rate, go ahead and put 9.0. And then we're gonna turn the speed and spin the speed on to 2000. Coolant, go ahead and turn it on. Okay, just like that on the top right here, contour parameter. Go ahead and put negative 0.76. Gonna cut all the way through. And then right here, computer, go ahead and put where on there. And then the composition direction, we, we're gonna stop it from the left side. And tip com, we're gonna put in the center, okay? And that looks right, let's go select okay here, just like that. And now we're gonna go to operation and select all, we have five, and we're gonna make it cut, okay? Just like that. Just like that right there, you see that? That's what I was talking about guys. So um, this is really nice the way it cut, the way it look. See when it cut the uh, soco, they don't wanna do all the way inside. That's when we wanna break in pieces. So that's what you wanna see, okay? That's how you break the soco in pieces, okay? In four pieces, that's how it look like. Now let's just for example, if you was to uh, put this line back on, just like that, okay? You don't need to delete the line, just like that, okay? Now, once we're gonna run, rerun it, an operation, what's the difference between that, okay? See, just like that, it's nothing different, okay? So that's why I was going over there and uh, delete the line, so. Hope you guys like this video and uh, 
please don't forget to uh, subscribe and share the, uh, the video okay guys now let's go to our uh, our setup let's go to a setup here just want to make sure everything is correct so we got a here we got 40 on the y and then x we got 60 right so and then the z right here go ahead and put five inches here and this is the stock and then okay now go ahead and fit screen here and then unzoom a little bit okay and then we're going to come back over here right click dynamic spin right there and just rotate it it's like that that's how it look okay now you go back over here to our screen put an f9 on there just like that it will show see the difference how it is okay now we can go back and then you select it and you want to rotate it just like that okay see how all around it okay guys uh, so that is, is, is all for today and uh, and i hope you guys like this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel okay guys if you have any comment please leave it below and i don't that's all i have and you guys have a great day and uh, see you next time okay and uh see you next time bye bye